Let me preface this video with saying thank you so much for all the support. Waking up every day to so many likes, comments, and new subscribers has been so rewarding and has given me the drive to make more content for you guys. And speaking of content, the reason I started making this video was because something has changed. With each patch Arrowhead gives us, performance has been steadily going down. And when streaming Thursday night, my game was struggling. On Hellmire, I was regularly dropping below 60 FPS. So I was wondering when we would finally get some good news for performance. Well, as you can see, today is completely different. So what's changed? Nvidia dropped a new graphics driver for all GPUs. These releases always mention what new features are being added for new and recently released games. What they also do is add the latest performance improvements, bug fixes, and driver enhancements. If you haven't updated your GPU to the latest driver, stop this video and start the process now, because I guarantee that will boost your average FPS. So, with that out of the way, I'd like to respond to some comments from the Optimized Settings Guide video I released last week. So many people were saying how much the video helped them get better performance by turning down some settings and get better visuals by turning up the settings that impacted quality the most. As many people mentioned, Arrowhead added another setting, Asynchronous Compute, only two days after I had finished my video. This setting is designed to offload some of the CPU computing to the GPU, so if you have an older or lower powered CPU, you may see a sizable improvement. However, if you have a mid-range or higher CPU, it will actually reduce your FPS. So like the render setting, you'll just need to test this with your own system to see if there's an improvement. Also, some people wanted to know what settings for motion blur, depth of field, and bloom. These settings are mostly personal preference, so since they will make it harder to see enemies, I would just leave them off. Here's a good comment left by this user. The game has in-game stats. Press F2 to toggle. F3 will toggle graph frame times. F4 toggles further stats when the graph is enabled. And F5 will toggle the stats in a small bar at the top, which includes network info. This is good to know and is another alternative to using a third-party FPS counter like MSI Afterburner and the Xbox Game Bar or NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Ralk Ross suggested using full screen mode rather than borderless window because it makes the game feel smoother. I also noticed this early on when playing the game and setting it to full screen will also be better if you have a VRR capable display. Many people said space quality will affect when you're on your ship, but this is false. I think this is just a rumor from a forum or reddit that people have been parroting. See for yourself, can you spot a difference between these screenshots? Because I can't. Finally, here's a comment by Lunar Veggie going in depth on how frame rate can affect movement speed. It's too long to read out the whole thing, but essentially he found that having really low FPS can actually make your character run slower than normal. He found this issue because his friend he dives with has a very low powered system. When running the same armor, his friend's sprinting speed was only slightly faster than normal walking speed. This would be a huge issue in game, especially when fighting Terminids since they love getting right up in your face. So with that, I'll conclude the video. Check out my settings guide video if you haven't already and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.